Kiambu County will be among the largest counties with the IEBC set to add four more constituencies to the existing eight and bring the number to 12. It's going to be among the biggest counties in the country, uh, say it, uh, in even in terms of constituencies and also in terms of uh, population. To campaign for governorship or senator in this county, a candidate will have to traverse all the 12 highly populated constituencies to drum up support. Imagine that you probably have 600 polling stations. Just the logistics of managing those polling stations on election day, um, give it 5,000 per polling station, which is the absolute minimum. You're talking about 600 times 5,000, that's 30 million shillings. Uh, you're spending 30 million shillings on election day, multiply that by three, you're probably talking about uh, a number of tens of millions. Anybody wanting to run for either governor or senator um, has put aside sufficient resources, not necessarily for political influence, but for, for, for just managing the logistics of the campaign. It, it is true, and a lot of money. A lot of money. Uh, it's, no, it's not going to be easy to run around. Kiambu is also one of the constituencies that has produced great and wealthy politicians and competition will be high. But the issue of education qualifications as stipulated in the constitution will be a big setback to many who would wish to be in the race. I think the major qualifications which will uh, give quite a number of people the, the way out or the ticket out of the race is education. It is for the people of a given county to decide whether they want to elect a governor who has got a degree or a governor who does not have a degree because ability does not depend on the degree. As, as long as you can read and write, that should be it. As the clock ticks towards 2012, just a few candidates have announced their political ambitions as concerns the county positions, but campaigns have not really kicked off. We have several pieces of legislation. One is the devolved government bill itself, which defines the structure of the devolved government. And until that bill is becomes law, it would be a tragic folly to make major declarations because you do not know how the new devolved governments will be structured. You do not know how we'll be transiting from a central government to a devolved government. And, and, and so it is very important for us to be very clear that those who have not made up their minds have probably not made up their minds because of lack of information. Leaders in Kiambu County are, however, trading carefully and have expressed the need for the electorate to vote in the right people for these positions. If the electorate make a mistake by electing the wrong people, then that's it for them. It will be very unfortunate. What we are really looking for, or what we should be looking for, are the managers, not necessarily politicians. Clearly, some counties will get it right. Other counties will not get it right in the first election or maybe the uh, two elections. But the ones that get it right will be an example to the others. You need technocrats and semi-CEOs who are also have a political leaning. So you need somebody who has the ability to work with bureaucracy and also have a political eye. I have both. For the 2012 County Power Matrix, I'm Lillian Mwendo.